Hey everyone, I'm Erica, I'm 29 years old, I'm a femme lesbian, and this is my coming out story. So, I knew at a pretty young age, however, I didn't really acknowledge it until I was around 14, 15 years old. Um, I grew up at a dance studio, I grew up cheering, um, just a very, very girly girl. And in my head, I still had that stigma of, if you're a lesbian, you have to be masculine. And that just was not for me. I did not want to give up my dresses, my skirts, etc. So I struggled with my identity through appearance and accepting who I was on the inside and how I felt. I felt like if I'm gay on the inside, I have to look gay on the outside and battled with that for so long, um, which honestly, that's not like a really difficult battle looking back at it. I'm thankful that that was what I struggled with and not something worse. But throughout the years, starting in middle school, my mom started asking me if I had crushes on specific girls because of the way I acted around them. And I would not really acknowledge the question and just kind of brushed off like, mom, that's my friend. Um, and I think that was because I was still figuring out everything. I was still figuring out why do I feel this way about certain girls? Like it doesn't make sense to me because I didn't know anybody who was a lesbian at that time. And I definitely didn't know any lesbians that were girly. So my mind was just like all confused and all my friends had crushes on boys and I was just like, mm. You know, they would show somebody, oh my God, he's so cute. And I'd be like, yeah, because I felt like I wanted to fit in. These were girls my age. I should be going through the same thing as them, but I wasn't. Um, so, you know, past that stage going into high school, I, when I started going to parties, it was just like, making out with all the girls and I remember coming home from school one day my mom had my laptop on the kitchen table and she had photos they were in my photo bucket or on my space and there were photos of me kissing girls at parties and I was so embarrassed I thought that I was going to get in trouble so like I freaked out and I was like why are you looking at my laptop her concern was why are you at parties when you're supposed to be having sleepovers at your friend's house? And that was like, okay, like I don't have to like admit anything that I'm not ready to admit yet. Um, so I got grounded obviously for going to parties when I was supposed to be in my friend's house safe and not doing anything I wasn't supposed to be doing. The fact that she didn't get at, like mad at me for making out with girls, I was kind of like, oh, okay. Like, that could have gone worse. So maybe another year goes by. I think we're like sophomore, junior year or so. And um, yes, it was going into junior year. And there was a specific girl that I had kissed at a party who wasn't clear how she identified, but I know that she kind of felt the same way I did. Well, she ended up being my very first relationship and it was actually the same girl that my mom had questioned me about in middle school. So my mom was always a step ahead. And I didn't want to like come out to anybody in high school. I was captain of the cheer team, captain of the dance team. I didn't want anybody to treat me differently and I just like wasn't ready. So it wasn't really until like after senior year that I publicly came out to everybody. Um, and that, I, I mean, people that I thought were going to be mean were mean on social media, but at that point I would just like block, delete, ignore. Um, my mom had actually come in my room and laid next to me, grabbed my hand and was like, honey, are you and this girl dating? And I just started laughing and crying hysterically. And she was like, oh my gosh, I knew it. She hugged me, I love you, that's okay. Like, I accept you. And I was just like shocked. I was like, I didn't even like have to tell her like I'm gay, like she brought it out. But my reaction to that was like, 
don't tell dad. Whatever you do, do not tell dad. I thought I was going to get in trouble. My dad was very strict. Um, so of course my mom told my dad because that's what moms do. And my dad actually took me out to lunch and was very cool with it. He was like, I don't care. As long as you're happy, they treat you good. That's, that's that. Um, if they hurt you, uh, that's a different story. And the same rules apply, whether you're dating a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter. So at that point, pretty much all my mom's Facebook friends and family knew that I was gay. Um, my mom was very proud to like post about it, which I think is super cute. Um, and I just feel really lucky to have such a positive coming out story because I know so many people do not. And sometimes I feel a little guilty about it because I know how much some people have had to go through. Um, but I, I love my coming out story. I feel like it kind of happened like at the right time. I was going through puberty and I didn't have to experience awkward situations. Um, I feel like everything was like as smooth as butter and it just developed really organically. And I think that that's beautiful that I had so much support before I even really supported myself. Uh, once I found out that there were like a whole army of femme lesbians and I wasn't like the only lesbian that was girly because in my head I was like, why is everybody that's a lesbian a tomboy? Like, do I have to give up my dresses? Like, I didn't want to do that. So once I found the army of femme lesbians, I was like, I'm here. This is where I belong. I'm proud. And I, I'm just thankful for that in entire experience. Um, I hope that there's more people that have experiences in the future like I did. And if not, we're going to keep fighting until we get everybody to be accepted. So thanks for listening to my story.